हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू शिक्षा थ्री सिक्सटी जैप क्लासेस टूडे बेसिकली वी हैव टू कवर द चैप्टर नंबर फोर्टी ऑफ इंडियन इकोनॉमी एंड दैट इज रिगार्डिंग द क्रेडिट रेटिंग एंड क्रेडिट स्कोरिंग बेसिकली इट इज वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड फॉर योर नॉलेज पर्पज ऑल्सो दिस चैप्टर बेसिकली वी हैव टू कवर इन टू पार्ट आई विल कवर हेयर थ्यूरी डिस्कशन इन डिटेल एंड MCQ basically will be discussed in your group. Here after the theory, I will post some MCQs in the group so that you can go through all these MCQs and practice that. So let's start our today's discussion. So as the name suggests, that credit rating and credit scoring. Like basically, if you want to invest in any company or you want to give to any loan to any borrower. so basically first of all you will check that what is the credit score of that borrower clear clear in the case of the lending basically like you can check the credit score of the borrower and in the case of the investing in any company like basically what we will check that credit rating of that company clear if we are investing in that company basically whether basically we will get the profit or not all these things clear one by one basically we have to cover here let's start so in the world of modern finance companies have developed many avenues for raising equity and debt capital basically companies basically have developed many avenues basically for raising clear basically for taking money from the public clear this is the meaning that for raising equity and debt capital debt basically that is in the form of the loan equity that is in the form of the shares they will allot you shares and money will be provided by you to the company so it is necessary for the investors to get a fair estimate of the risk involved and often they do not have the expertise to assess the risk so in this regard credit rating forms an objective tool for assessing the risk of default for the investor as well as the lender okay so in this regard credit rating forms an objective tool for assessing the risk for of default for the investor as well as for the lender while credit rating it is basically for the business entities kindly remember that which i have discussed in the previous in the first slide that is basically credit rating basically it is for what credit rating basically it is for the business entities for the companies we can say that credit rating basically for the business entities and credit scoring it is basically for the individual okay so on the other side credit scoring basically it is for assessing the risk attached to the individuals now move to the next point so what is credit rating how it will happen and what is the meaning of that let's discuss in detail so what is credit rating basically it is an analysis of the credit risk and i one thing i will tell you please go through line by line each point in the examination clear basically after the examination many students say that basically sir we are not able to get this point in the examination out of syllabus or basically very deeply not very deeply or out of syllabus just you have to go through line by line it will take 5 to 10 minutes more but you are able to answer all the question in the examination now let's discuss further so credit rating basically it is an analysis of the credit risk associated basically with the financial instrument or a business entity clear what is credit rating it is an analysis of the credit risk associated basically with the financial instrument or a business entity it is a risk grade given to a particular entity clear basically it is a risk grade given to a particular entity based on its credentials and the extent clear basically based on its credential and the extent to which the financial statements of the entity are sound in terms of borrowing and lending that has been done in the past okay so it is a risk grade basically given to a particular entity based on its credentials and the extent to which the financial statements of the entity clear basically to which the financial statements of the entity are sound in terms of borrowing and lending that has been done in the past clear in the terms of borrowing and lending that has been done in the past further usually a credit rating is in the form of alpha or numeric grade clear usually a credit rating basically it is the in the form of alpha or numeric grade 
accompanied by a detailed report clear basically accompanied by a detailed report based on the financial history of borrowing or lending and credit worthiness of the entity or the person obtained from the statements of its assets and liabilities clear i will explain so basically how they will credit rate basically in the form of alpha or numeric rate like a plus b plus plus like in this way alpha numeric clear great accompanied by detailed report clear that is detailed report basically on which basis on the financial history of borrowing how much they have borrowing from the market and how much they have lent and credit worthiness of the entity clear that is basically how much credit they have clear that is financial strong or not or the person obtained from the statements of his assets and liabilities with the view to determining their ability clear basically with the view to determining their ability to meet the debt obligations clear basically with the view to determining their obil ability to meet the debt obligations further that is it helps in assessment of the solvency of the particular entity clear it helps in assessment of the solvency of the particular entity in other words credit rating basically may be defined as an opinion of a credit rating agency clear basically who will give the credit rating basically it will be given by a credit rating agency that is cra as to the issuers issuer basically basically to whom they will give that is to the issuer that is borrower of the money capacity to meet its issuer basically capacity to meet its financial obligations to the depositor or the bond holder clear credit rating basically it is given to the issuer basically given for the issuer to the borrower basically to the investor who is investing that clear as to the issuer's capacity to, to meet its financial obligations to the depositor or bond holder bond depositor that is basically lender of the money on a particular issue or type of instrument clear on a particular issue or type of instrument that is domestic or foreign currency short term medium term or long term in a timely manner the rating measures further that is the rating measures the relative risk of the issuer's ability and willingness to repay both interest and principal clear what it tells that the rating basically measure what it measures the relative risk of the issuer's ability whether they are willing to pay or not and basically whether they have capacity to pay all these things relative risk of the issuer's ability and willingness to pay repay both interest and principal over the period of the rated instrument clear over the period of the rated instrument a high credit rating indicates a high possibility of paying back the loan in its entirety without any issue clear that is if rating is high so basically it has the ability to pay more clear pay more basically it means that basically not pay more basically that is it has the ability to pay the amount clear wholly possibility of paying back the loan in its entirety without any issues like basically we can say that basically if any person has good sibel basically if sibel rating or we can say the credit scoring it is good sibel it is also one of the credit scoring company so basically we can assume that they can pay the loan betterly and on the other side basically a poor credit rating basically suggests that the borrower has had trouble paying back loans in the past and might follow the same pattern in the future clear and they might follow the same pattern in the future clear this is the main function of the credit rating clear to check that whether that person has the ability to pay that amount or not all these things to be here now move to the next point credit rating agencies so a credit rating agency it is a private company that looks at the credit worthiness of a large scale borrower clear so what is credit rating agency a credit rating agency it is a private company that looks at the credit worthiness of a large scale borrower such as a company or country yes even they will rate the company or country clear like basically whether if you are investing in that country whether it will be beneficial for you or not clear even all these things will be done by them so it effectively ranks the borrower on their ability to pay off their loan so further that is a credit rating agency it is a company that assigns credit ratings which assesses the debtor's ability to pay back the debt clear so what the credit rating agency basically tell that basically assigns a credit rating 
which assesses the debtor's ability to pay back the debt clear like whatever they will take money from the market basically ability to pay back to pay back the debt basically by making timely payments of interest and repayments of principal and the likelihood of default clear of principal and the likelihood of a default an agency may rate the credit worthiness of issuers of debt obligations of debt instruments clear issuers of debt obligations or of debt instruments and in some cases of the services of the underlying debt but not of the individual consumers clear basically but not of the individual consumers so the debt instruments rated by clear what are the debt instruments clear basically which are to be rated by the credit rating agencies clear so the debt instruments rated by the credit rating agencies basically what it may include may include first one that is the corporate bonds clear so what are the debt instruments the debt instruments basically rated by the credit rating agency basically may include corporate bonds certificate of deposits third one that is the commercial paper fourth one that is the municipal bonds kindly remember all these things okay so the debt instruments basically rated by the credit rating agency basically may include corporate bonds certificate of deposits commercial paper municipal bonds preferred stock debentures and collateralized securities collateralized securities basically what are that is mortgage backed securities collateralized debt obligations etc clear all these things basically or we can say that all these instruments are to be rated by the credit rating agencies okay if anyone has any doubt any query up to this much point please ask fast hope all of you are able to understand regarding all these points now move to the next one history of credit rating clear first of all now we have to understand when this process starts for the credit rating so the modern rating system dates back to 1909 clear starts in 1909 when johan moody started rating us railroad bonds clear basically when basically it was started by the john moody currently three rating agencies dominate the international scene first one that is a moody's investor service first rating credit rating that is moody's investor service second one that is standards and poor global rating third one that is the fitch clear first one that is the moody's investor services second one that is the standards and poor global rating third one that is the fitch while normally credit rating agencies assign a rating on the request of the issuer there are occasions or events when unsolicited ratings are to be assigned okay sometimes basically generally basically they will assign a rating on the request of the issuer the first industrial country to be rated was france clear first industrial country basically to be rated by was france this one was one of the question clear which of the first industrial country clear that is to be rated was france basically in which agency by the s and p standards and poors in the year 1959 clear that is whether you want to invest in the country or not it depends upon the rating the credit rating information services of india limited crisel this is one of the also agency the credit rating information services of india limited initiated the concept of credit rating in india crisel was established in the year 1987 and started its operation in january 1998 clear so basically when it was established that is in 1987 first rating that is in 1909 clear by the johan moody crisel was established in 1987 and started its operation in january 1998 currently basically there are seven rating agencies are in operation in india for rating the bonds time deposits cps and other structured obligations some of these indian rating agencies have tie up or alliances basically with the international rating agencies clear like some are indian rating agency basically they have also tie up basically with the other rating agencies or we can say that with the international rating agencies 
like we can say that like Chrysler has tie up basically with S and P, Standard and Poor. Ikra basically with the Moody's and Care basically with the Fitch. Clear. All these are the different rating agencies. Clear. Ikra basically have tie up basically with the Moody's. Care basically with have tie up basically with the Fitch. Now move to the next point. Characteristics of these credit rating. What they have characterized regarding the borrower. First one that is assessment of the issuer's capacity to repay. Clear. Whether they have capacity to repay or not. Clear. First of all, they are assessing that. So it assesses the issuer's capacity to meet its financial obligation. Clear. It assesses the issuer's capacity basically to meet its financial obligation. That is capacity to pay the interest and repay the principal amount borrowed as per the decided repayment schedule. Clear. So what it assesses basically it assesses the issuer's capacity to meet its financial obligation. That is the capacity to pay interest and repay the principal amount borrowed as per the decided repayment schedule. Second one, based on the data. Clear first one, that is assessment of the issuer's capacity to repay. Second, based on the data, a credit rating agency assesses the financial strength of the borrower on the basis of its financial data. Clear? So basically how they will assess the borrower's basically capability, that is a credit rating agency assesses the financial strength of the borrower on the basis of its financial data. Third one, expressed in symbols. Clear? So how it will express that the capacity of the borrower? It will be expressed in the symbols. Basically, ratings are expressed in the symbols. Example, triple A, triple B, etc., which can be understood by non-experts also. Like we can say that triple A, basically, it is one of the best. Double A, little bit lower than that. Clear? Like this way. Carried out by experts. Clear? Basically, who will care? do this type of the rating basically credit rating it is done by the experts of reputed aggregated institutions clear basically who have knowledge regarding all these things clear basically who are working in this field they will rate the agency or they they will rate the company regarding that Fifth one, that is guidance about investment, not recommendation, clear? So basically, it will only guide you, clear? That is basically, it will have this much rating, clear? It will not, like we can say that a recommendation, clear? So credit rating, basically, it is only a guidance to the investor. It is not a recommendation to invest to any particular instrument, clear? So basically, credit rating, basically, it is only a guidance to the investors. It is not a recommendation basically to invest in any particular instrument. Clear. So all these are the characteristics of the credit rating. First one that is assessment of the issuer's capacity to repay. Second one that is based on the data that is the data basically which they have saved. Third one that is basically how it will express. Basically it will be expressed in the symbols. Fourth one that is it is carried out by the experts. Clear. Basically who will work on that carried out by the experts. Fifth one that is guidance about the investment and not a recommendation clear basically it will only guide you that you will invest in that company or not clear it will never recommend you now move to the next point importance of the credit rating clear basically importance of the credit rating what is the importance of that first one that is it provides unbased opinion to the investors clear like we can say that basically it will just give the rating clear now it depends upon the investors clear basically whether you want to invest in that company or not. So opinions of good credit rating agencies basically are unbiased because it has no vested interest in the rated company. Okay. Second one that is provides quality and dependable information. So credit rating agencies basically employ highly qualified trained and experienced staffs clear basically they will give you the quality information regarding that clear basically which help you whether you want to invest in that or not clear so credit rating agencies basically employ highly qualified trained and experienced staff in order to assess the risk and they have assessed to vital and important information clear further that is they have assessed to vital and important information and therefore can provide accurate information about credit worthiness of the borrowing company clear about credit worthiness of the borrowing company third one provides information basically in easy to understand language clear so credit rating agencies basically gather information analyze and interpret it clear basically credit rating agencies basically gather information 
analyze and interpret it. First of all, basically they have to collect information. Next step that is they have to analyze it. Third one that is basically they have to interpret it. What they have collected and what they have analyzed from that. And present. How they will present it basically and present basically in the easy to understand language like basically we can say that in the simple like triple A, double B, etc. C, 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 C plus C plus A, A. Like in this way, clear? So that it is easy to understand for all of them. Clear? So what is the meaning of that double A, triple A, B, B? We will understand in some time also these things. Okay. Now move to the fourth point. Provides information free of cost or at a nominal cost. Clear? General basically, someday you will get the rating at free of cost. But detailed information, like you have to pay some nominal cost also. Clear sometimes. So credit rating of instruments basically are published in the financial newspapers and the advertisements of the rated companies. The public does not have to pay for them. Clear? Generally, you will find these types of things in the newspapers also. It is beyond the capacity of individual investors to basically gather such information at their own. Fifth one, that is, helps the investor basically in taking the investment decisions. Clear? Next one, that is, Credit rating basically further helps the investors in assessing the risks and making prudent investment decisions. Clear? So credit rating basically helps the investors in assessing the risks and making prudent, that is important investment decisions. Sixth one, that is disciplines, cor disciplines corporate borrowers. When a borrowing entity gets higher credit rating, clear? basically when a borrowing entity gets higher credit rating, it increases its goodwill. Clear, when a borrowing entity basically gets higher credit rating, it increases its goodwill and the other companies also do not want to lag behind in rating. Clear? Okay, basically we can say that all companies want that their rating, it is to be good in the market so that people will try to invest in their companies. Clear? And they will raise the money cheaper than through the loan. So when a borrowing entity gets higher credit rating, it increases its goodwill and other companies also do not want to lag behind in rating. And hence this process incalculates financial discipline in their working and follow ethical practices. Clear incalculates basically financial discipline in their working and follow ethical practices to become eligible basically for the good rating. Clear basically for what to become eligible. For the good rating, this tendency basically promotes healthy discipline among the companies. Clear? All these are the importance of the credit rating. I will repeat first, first one that is provides unbased in opinion to the investor. Second one provides quality and dependable information. Third one that is provides information basically in easy to understand language. Fourth one that is provides information free of cost or at the nominal cost. Fifth one, that is help the investors in taking investment decisions. Sixth one, that is the discipline, the corporate of borrowers. Clear discipline, the corporate of borrowers. So now, benefits of the credit rating. Clear. So there are two main stakeholders in the credit rating by the credit rating agencies. First one, that is the investor. Second one, that is the issuer. Clear. Basically, in this session, we have to discuss up to this much point. Like, first of all, what is credit rating, all these things, credit rating agencies, history of the credit rating, assess characteristics and importance. Clear. In the next session, we will discuss regarding the benefits, assessment of the risk and information, all these things, benefits to the issuer and what are the different credit rating agencies and what is the process Clear. and how they will rate, what is the meaning of AAA, AA, A, triple B. All these things we have to be covered in the next session along with five MCQs. Clear. 10 to 15 MCQs I will provide you in the group so that you can practice whatever we have discussed here. So thanks to all of you for joining the session. Regularly basically sessions will be conducted in the group. Link will be shared in the group. Clear. Basically we will provide you the PPB accounts, retail and in economic. Clear. Zoom session recorded. Clear. This session basically will be provided in the recorded form in the Indian economy basically paid group. PPT or PDF handwritten notes basically for the numerical purpose. Clear, we will provide you the formulas based. MCQ case study numerical as per the examination pattern and memory based questions or MCQs. Clear, we will provide you. So thanks to all of you for joining this discussion.